What's going on everybody? So season three of Overwatch is finally here. And with that comes a brand new battle pass, a bunch of new rewards, and obviously some new changes to the game. But in today's video, I wanna talk about the battle pass, which has got a lot of controversy around it because people are kind of wondering if they should have loot boxes back or if we should just continue this battle pass. That's neither here nor there. I'm simply gonna talk about what is in the battle pass and if I think that it's worth it. I'm gonna let you know right now, just go ahead and get it out of the way. I think this is the best battle pass out of every game that I have literally ever played. I've played Fortnite, I've played Apex, I've played Warzone, I've played even League of Legends and Teamfight Tactics, all of which have battle passes, and this is blows them out the water entirely. So let's go ahead and just hop right into the battle pass and go talk about the things that are in it. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please leave a like on it. And if you guys want to come back and see more Overwatch content, smash that sub button and let's go ahead and just dive right into this battle pass. So first, let's go ahead and go to the beginning. As soon as you get the battle pass, you're going to be met with, I think, six free tiers, if I remember correctly, a part of some login event. But let's go ahead and look over the first few things you get. As soon as you get it, you get this Reaper skin. Now, this Reaper skin is, in my opinion, is crazy. Like, I, I, I can't understand how this is a free skin. We, uh, well, it's technically it's not. You gotta pay 10 bucks for the battle pass, but after you've gotten the battle pass, this skin is, is nuts. The weapon even looks nice too. I don't know what it looks like gold, but it probably still looks good. Like this is great. So let's look at the Junker Queen, the Junker Queen. Um, some people on TikTok where I've already posted this, don't forget to follow me there, um, has talked about like how this is a kiss skin. I, I, I can see the resemblance. The skin also on the gun, on her shotgun looks crazy. Look at this. This is so good. Like in, in other games, you have to literally pay for weapon skins this good. This is a crazy skin. The knife also looks nice. It looks so good. I don't think, oh my, and, and it this turns into a guitar in a battle. Oh my God, this is crazy. I don't know how they managed to get away with this, but this is insane. And, and when I say get away with it, I mean, be this good for this price for 10 bucks, 10 bucks. Remember that now. I was going to hop into these other tiers. So as we know now, we get these credits now. So um, I think you're probably going to get uh, a couple credits per page, like two to three per page. Um, but yeah, so in this next tier, you get the next few tiers. You're going to get 200 credits or 100 credits. You get another credits here and you get a title on that one and some spray, which is fine. Um, I don't. This is a souvenir. <clears throat> I don't really understand the point of this but all bad passes have kind of like this filler stuff in it so this is kind of just that um you're gonna get this rare uh pose right here for mercy not not too bad uh you're gonna get a spray which is kind of nice and then uh a weapon charm i think yeah weapon charm voice line for moira and yeah so again this is just filler but let's let's kind of look more on the more important stuff so the cassidy skin this skin is easily a top five skin in the game in my opinion right this is crazy this skin looks so good it's 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 not even just the the face being gone it's the simple um the the attire looks good the grenades look nice. Like, let, let's just go ahead and look into it. The weapon skin looks great. Like, everything about him looks so good in this skin. Let's, let's look at the next ones. You're going to get uh, uh, a victory pose for Junker Queen, which ties in with her kiss style outfit. And then you're going to get this highlight intro for May. Still, you know, not bad. It's pretty good. And for the skin I have, it actually kind of matches too. Uh, you're going to get a voice line. Nothing too special. Uh, a charm. A somber skin. Somber skin looks good. This looks like definitely a skin that you would find in the shop. Um, and it looks great. So far, all of the skins have looked good. And now that I'm thinking about it, I, I feel like I missed a skin. Yeah, I did. So uh, the Baptiste skin too. Uh, Baptiste doesn't look bad. It looks kind of basic for the most part. Um, nothing crazy, but still not that bad of a skin. Uh, going back forward, we have a few things here. We got this souvenir, which is kind of messy or resembling the Junker Queen. 
scan, and then we got this pose, <clears throat> or emote, I should say, for Bastion. Playing a little hide and seek, or hide and beak, I should say. And then we've got this Moira skin. So the Moira skin is, for me, I, I'm not really that big of a fan of Moira, but the mask, like, look at the eyes. They jiggle with the movement. Um, the art still does look good. I just, I'm not a, a huge fan of skin, but I know some people that do like it. So still pretty solid. Then we got, uh, again, we got some more credits. Again, uh, there's going to be credits on every single page. I'm We've got this Kiriko voice line. We've got this emote. Looks pretty good. I like it. Um, not a huge fan of Pharah, but uh, I like the emote. We've got this Zarya skin. Now, the Zarya skin might be the only one that I don't really think is something crazy, um, but it's also not bad either. Um, the weapon skin on her gun, though, looks nice. It looks really, really good. Um, so this is not really a bad skin either. Then we got... This Genji Ping respects victory pose looks good. And as much as I hate Junkrat, I don't like Junkrat at all. He's my literally most hated character in the game. This skin is nice. It's it's literally so good. His ponytail is a fuse. His leg is a wooden stick. It's actually a whole tree branch. You can see leaves coming off of it. The tire, crazy. Tire looks so good. The mine is, you know, nothing, nothing too special. The skin on his weapon looks nice. It looks good. The trap definitely keeping the same synergy with all of the skins. And the uh, the detonator looks good. Everything in the skin looks great. Again, I'm not a fan of Junkrat at all, but this is a great skin. It's great. Then we got um, Azaria pose. You know, voice line. Uh, spray. Highlight intro for Orissa. Looks good. <coughs> and then we've got this Sigma skin. How is this an epic skin? Like, I don't know if you guys remember back in the day for Fortnite where they had the Galaxy skin, but this skin it kind of resembles that. And he gets, there's so much going on. Like, this is a, this is a great skin. I, I would have thought this is a legendary skin, but it's just an epic. And it's a great epic. It's so good. Then we've got... Rock on emo. Not bad. Not bad. Scrap metal. For this uh, inspect. For Roadhog. Looks pretty good. And then we got Kiriko, which comes with a few other things in the bundle, I believe. Um, it comes with this spray and this spray. And I'm also actually realizing that I may have missed uh, a Kiriko highlight intro. Animation is probably like on the first page. Yeah, here it is. Okay, so here's the Kiriko intro. Looks sick. That's actually crazy. The way the eyes start to glow. It actually looks really good with this skin too. This is a this is definitely a W intro. But yeah, let's go ahead and talk about this Kiriko skin. So, as as usual, the Mythic skins are customizable. Um, this is the base version of the skin. But once we go into customize, you can see that you can change the hats. Uh, you can change the hairs, which I think this hair is really good. The the third skin is not bad. Uh, it's just kind of the color for me. Unless you go into something like this. Or even that is the only way it works. I don't think it really looks that well with the gold. But some people may disagree. Um, but her kunai. You can change the appearance of her kunai. These both look great. You got this kind of halo going around the dagger. And then you have this little animating one right here. That's kind of centralized in the middle. And then you also can change her suzu bag, I believe. The color. And then I think these are called her Afudas, but I, I sometimes call them talismans. Regardless, uh, you can change these as well, the colors, and you can change how they appear depending on the dagger that you choose, the kunai that you choose. Um, and yeah, they, they look good.
the kunai looks great everything about this battle pass looks great the last thing i want to talk about actually is is a way for you to actually get a ton of value from the battle pass if you plan on getting it so firstly what you can do is get this starter bundle right here which if you're going to get the battle pass and only the battle pass and you don't want to do the ultimate bundle which i'll talk about in a second then just get this this is uh 10 bucks and you get the honeybee skin and you're going to get a thousand overwatch coins which is going to allow you to get the battle pass so if you're going to get the battle pass just get this instead you might as well take the free skin it, i mean it's free skin right next let's talk about the ultimate battle pass though so this this ultimate battle pass is insane value like insane value it's 60 dollars discount technically speaking um i'm gonna explain why in a second but for this bundle, you get the battle pass, which automatically is $10 off of the 30, right? So now you're at 20, bu 20 bucks. And then you're going to get 20 free tiers, which normally you would have to pay for. And I'll explain, explain in a sec. And then you get the 20 skins the, or 20, 20 coins. These two alone automatically are 30 bucks. Automatically. Just these two. Then you get a beekeeper skin. So you get to, you get to not only get the battle pass. You're going to have 20 coins that you can use on a whole nother skin later on down the road. Or as someone conveniently pointed out, you could use for the next two battle passes if you wanted to save your coins. So for 30 bucks, you could get this battle pass, the next two battle passes, plus everything that comes in all three of the battle passes. And on top of that, you get a skin. And then for this time, you get the 20 free tiers. You won't get it the other times, but for this time you will. So if you add the total of all of this up, $10 for the battle pass to get 20 tiers is $40, $20 for the skin and the, or $20 for the coins and the beekeeper. You're coming out to $90 in value, but the bundle is only $30. So now I know people like to really come for blizzard and blizzard does have kind of a bad reputation. I think this is a crazy good value. It's, it's a value that is worth buying. If you want to, if you want to spend the money on the game, if you're on the fence and you want to spend 30 bucks and maybe only 30 bucks once, this would be the time to do it. If you don't still don't want to spend any money because you know you're someone who wishes the game was still had free loot boxes, I I completely understand. But for anyone who does want to, this is a, a great value in my opinion. Unfortunately for me, I didn't see it. Otherwise, I would have got it and I just got this instead. And I don't feel like paying twice for this. I lose out on 10 bucks if I do this. I might still end up doing it anyway, to be honest. Um, just because you get the skin in the 20 coins. So basically I would be paying it's, it's irrelevant regardless. I think it's a great, great value. And I think overall they really killed it with this battle pass and the options, the ways of getting the battle pass incentivizing people to get the battle pass through the mercy skin and through the Sigma bundle. I think those are great great additions that they made to the game. I hope they keep down the same exact path and I hope that people can maybe start giving them a little bit of a break a little bit. You know, I understand, you know, people are kind of upset with Blizzard still, but this is definitely something good that they've done. And I think we have to acknowledge when they've done some good things for the game. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please leave a like on it. And if you guys want to come back and see more Overwatch content, don't forget to smash that sub button and go ahead and turn on post notifications while you're at it too. But anyway, you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video.